Chapter 57, verse number 20. The last segment. Allah says, وَمَلْ حَيَاتُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْقُرُورِ The life of this world is all delusion. Enjoyment of delusion. مَتَاعُ الْقُرُورِ Delusion with enjoyment. Today the topic is the commotion of Dajjal, Ad Dajjal, the Antichrist. You see, to understand the veracity of this subject, you must be aware of some terminologies used in different religions the eschatology, the philosophy behind those all aspects. <clears throat> Why I have read this ayah? Because this ayah is the support to deliver my feelings, the ideas, and those exfoliation of hadith that this world is full of delusion. Fitnight Dajjal, the commotion and the trials of Antichrist. Why? You see, today the science is busy speculating the matter. Matter is visible. It can be felt with our five senses. So we are able to accept that this is the ultimate truth. Beside all other metaphysical sciences, we do not care. As there is a big curtain has been spread on the horizon to block the spirituality. We love cosmology, but from the frame of reference that it is only showing you materialistic world. Go to the quantum physics level. Try to manipulate the atomic numbers. Try to play with electrons, protons, and try to change the property of that matter into something else. Fitnay Dajjal. Manipulate, play, do experiments, on the things which are coming into your five senses. Beside that, tell all the people, do not put and waste your energy. So what is the result? The result is that you will become an animal. Because once you close the eyes of spirituality, what else is left? Your animal being. Basic instincts. If five senses telling me that this is cold, this is hot, you have receptors, neurons in your skin everywhere, it will transfer the message into your brain. Then those receptors will tell to another neurons, interneurons, whatever. And then you will take back, the muscle will react and then you will take back your hand. These are five senses. So all the judgment is circulating, circum circumambulating around these things. <clears throat> so what is the ultimate truth? That humanity has forgotten that the ultimate, the biggest reality of this world is death. The biggest reality of this world is death and the biggest reality of this whole cosmology is the day of judgment. The day of resurrection, when everything will be folded like a blanket, like a sheet, Allah says in the Quran. I will fold everything, every data, everything, every knowledge. That thing humanity has forgotten. And why? Because this was supposed to be done. This was supposed to be done. Because it has been prophesied in the hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That the time will come when the people, they will love this dunya and they will detest death. They will never like. 
They will send the moth, the death should go away. And then all those winds, energy, inclination, potential power will be indulged to hoard, to stash worldly means. Money, woman, children, lands, conquering of lands, branded horses. Allah says in the Quran, Hubbul, Hubbul Shihwat, the things the men covet in his sight. Number one, woman. Number two, children. Pedigrees, these high qualities, not pedigrees, sorry, like family values. Number three, gold and silver. Number four, conquering of lands. Number five, branded horses. This is the rides you can convert into these days. Cars in the future, flying cars. But something you need to write. Surah Ali Imran, chapter 3, verse 14. Allah said, these things you have to take it. These are the values of materialistic world. That is why Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Hadid, that indeed the life of this world is the amusement of delusion. Something is there, but it's not there. You are thinking it's there. Everything in this world is a test to us. That is why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says that this world is a prison for a believer, but paradise for disbeliever. Because disbeliever, atheists, agnostics, or whatever the religion, they love this dunya. They say they think that we're going to be eternal. We're going to live eternal. 